hi students uh, in this video we'll see one more sum right uh, in designing a dfa in the last video we have seen how to design an fsm and in this video we'll be uh, seeing few more sums uh, right uh, so here i have written the question draw a dfa to accept strings of a's and b's with at least one a right uh, draw a dfa to accept strings of a's and b's with at least one a right and uh, in the previous video i have told when you get a question to construct a dfa right uh, by reading the question i have to identify this belongs to which type i have to identify the type whether it is pattern recognition method or divisible by k problem or mod k problem i have to identify the method right so how to identify the method read the question in the question if you have a pattern if you have a pattern this belongs to pattern recognition problems right so we'll check whether i have a pattern in this question the question is draw a dfa to accept strings of a's and b's with at least one a one a there is a pattern so it belongs to pattern recognition method so what should i do i have to write the pattern as my minimum string so minimum string is my pattern and what is my alphabet right i can write as alphabet or i can write my notation sigma what is my sigma right you read the question draw a dfa to accept strings of a's and b's a's and b's so my alphabet is a comma b now what should i do i have to draw my start my transition diagram so how to start your transition diagram this is my start state right i'll tell start state is i'll have a circle with an arrow is your start state then you write the pattern so i have only one character in my pattern i'll write the character right i'll write one more state since i have only one character i have written the character so i can make this state as my final state so the final state notation is double circle now i have to name it so how will i name starting from q not i'll give names to my state so it is it can be q not q1 if you have one more state it will be q0 so here i have only two states right now i have to find the transition right so what are the transitions i have to find so you can list all the transitions right that i should find so what are the transitions i should find first transition is q0 comma a this transition i have to find why i have written a right my first alphabet then for the same state q not i have to find the transition with respect to the second alphabet right so my state and the second alphabet is b next i have to find transition of my second state right my both the alphabets is over now i am moving to my next state q1 q1 my first alphabet and next is sorry q not my first sorry 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 q1 only q1 and q1 my second alphabet so these are the transitions i am supposed to find right so now in the question in this diagram i have a transition i have one transition what is the transition right uh, this edge i have to see right uh, so q not is taking a input and it is moving to q1 right q not it is taking a input and it is moving to q1 q not taking a input and it is moving to q1 right am i having any other transitions no you can check q not comma b is it available no q1 comma a is it available no q1 comma b is it available no so these three transitions i am supposed to find now right so let us find this one 
Q not comma B. Right, uh, Q not comma B. Right, I'll use a pencil. Right, as you know, while finding a new transitions, right, I'll check for self first, then for previous um, previous states, right, uh, and if the condition fails, I'll be moving to my dead state. So Q not comma B, Q not comma B, I'll mark a self, right, uh, and I have to check whether this marking is correct. How will I check whether this marking is correct? You have to write all the strings starting from start state to final state. Write the strings B, A, B, A. Now check. What is your question? It should have at least one A. Right? At least one A. I have at least one A. So this marking is correct. So this marking is correct. So I will write Q0, B is nothing but Q0. Next, I have to find out Q1, A. Q1, A. I will try with self. Q1, A. Right? I have to check whether this marking is right or not. So, I have to write the string starting from start state to final state. So, it is B, A, 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 A. Right? So, what is your condition? It should have at least one A. I have at least one A. At least one A meaning is one or more A. Right? So, again this marking is right. Right? Next, I have to find Q1, B. Check with self first. Right? I have written A, B. Right? The strings B, B, A. Right, I'll write this B. Even if you write this A, not a problem. Right, B, A, B. Check this string. Right, B. I have written B, A, B. Right, the condition is I should have at least one A. I have a A. Right, so again this marking is right. So it is Q1. Right, now my transition diagram is over. What is the next step? I have to write my Machine. Machine is equal to Q comma sigma. It is a 5 tuple machine my DFA. Delta and uh, Q naught comma F. Capital Q is set of all non empty states. So how many states I have? Only 2 Q naught comma Q 1. What is my sigma? Sigma is A comma B. And these are my transitions. And Q0 is your start state, is start state. And what is my final state? Q1. Q1 is my final state. Now what should I do? I have to write my transition table. So transition symbol I will mark and my columns will be all my alphabets and my rows will be the states. How many states I have? I have only two states. Right? I have only two states. Now see this. Q0, when it takes A, it is moving to Q1. Q0, when it takes A, it should move to Q. Q0, A, Q1. Similarly, Q0, B, Q0. Q0, B, Q0. Next, Q1, A, Q1. Q1, A, Q1. Q1, B, Q1. Now, notation. Start state, final state. Right? This is your, this is the end of your answer. Right? We will discuss one more sum.